Crossfire on the left, Tom Brayton. On the right, Robert Novak. In the crossfire, Washington Times columnist John Lofton and rock musician Frank Zappa. Good evening. Welcome to Crossfire. What you've got here is suggestive, and I don't find it objectionable. But when you actually listen to the words of the songs, you get a shock. Personal, I find some of them in such bad taste as to make me physically ill. And some of them I wouldn't have in the house. Now, on the other hand, do we want the government to ban the sale of records with lyrics the government doesn't like? Do we want the government to say this is okay, but this one will have to go? And who should be the government censor? Whose job should it be to listen all day to dirty records and decide whether you can? Do you want censorship of records as is now being proposed in Maryland and in congressional hearings? Or do you want to make the decision on your own? Take it or leave it all by yourself. Bob? Mr. Zappa, let me see if I can get your position straight. Are you saying that there is no filth, no pornography, no obscenity that should not be permitted to be sold and distributed freely in this country in the form of music videos and rock music? I don't think that music qualifies as pornography. And especially since this whole business started with words. We're talking about words here. All, right. All the complaints were about words. All right, take the pornography out there. Is there no filth, no obscenity that you think would qualify to be suppressed? We're talking about words, and I don't believe that there is any word that needs to be suppressed. There's no scientific or uh, realistic reason why you should keep people from hearing certain so they, words. Yeah, but they they should, have, let me just follow there's, that up. There's they certain should, words you use that, that are, uh, to describe an act of fornication which are, are brutal. So, well, uh, how, how about putting that on the radio? That's not, put, <laughs> that's not permitted to be put on the radio. Do you think it should be? Yes. You think it should be on the radio? Absolutely. And on television? Absolutely. And, and, and in politics. I don't, well, I don't think I understand because that. it's already in politics. I think that if you use the so-called strong words, you get your point across faster and you, and you can save a lot of beating around the bush. Well, but why are people afraid of words? Well, look, Mr. Zappa, we're not talking about just words. When we talk about rock videos, we're, we're talking, not about, talking about rock I videos. I beg your pardon. But the what, whole thing is words. I beg your pardon, but what they're trying to... Uh, they're selling it with rock what they're videos. they're trying to restrict in Maryland is also obscene rock videos. No, they so, are not. Well, no, they're trying words. to apply the obscenity language to videos and to records. But why do you underestimate the power of words? Words have... Uh, consequences. They have impact on people. Now, I agree with you that the first line of responsibility is the family to stop the kind of garbage that we're talking about here today. But good grief, can't we call on our government to help us in this fight, Frank? I mean, you have kids. Are you an anarchist? Is it the government's role to do nothing about this? No, I'm a conservative, and you may not like that, but I am. And the fact of the matter is, this bill that they're talking about in Maryland is stupid. How so? What is the function of government, Frank, the civil government? Isn't it to, in part, promote general welfare and to help protect families? Do you think that you're protecting somebody by taking away seven words? It's not just words. It is words. It's about words. Words also connote ideas, Mr. Zappa. Are you for songs that portray incest as just another kind of sex and perhaps even preferable sex? Are you for that? Would you ban the mention of any incestual activities? Would you? Well, why don't we make a pact? Then why don't you better take a look at the Bible yeah. and see what's in there, what yeah. happens after the Bible Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible does not advocate incest. But it, it mentions it. It condemns it, Frank. It Wake mentions up. it. Well, we're it? talking about advocacy, Mr. Zappa. No, we're not. not we're talking him. about words. No, we're, we're not talking about, about content words. of the words. Oh, you don't think words connote ideas, huh? Yes, they can be assembled yeah. into sentences and get yeah. ideas Well, how about answering my question about incest? Do you support records that promote incest? as just another kind of sex, or in some instances it might even be preferable. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with it. I have no interest in incest, but I don't think that anybody in his right mind would uh -huh. desire to have the government step in to make sure that they install a censor board that well, keeps certain things from being said. Let me ask you something, Mr. Zappa. Uh, because this... sometimes the dumbest thing that gets said makes the point for you. And if a person is doing a song about incest, it gives you a chance to say, maybe incest is really wrong. I didn't realize that incest was such a terrible problem in the United States that we suddenly needed government intervention to cure incest in America by uh, keeping words off of records. Well, Mr. Course, Zappa, incest I... in America didn't used to be such a terrible problem, did it, Mr. Zappa? That's come about in the last 20 years. Oh, or so. 
not so. Oh, really? We've Which had, is that? So. Not as a problem. Not I advocated in all. I understand sure. your position on government censorship, but just you're you're all you're a musician, you're a, you're a producer, you're a big man in show business. Do you think it is a good idea? Let's not say that the government's going to get in this all. Just just as a matter of taste of artistic preference. Do you think it's a good idea to write lyrics that says incest is good for you? Does that make any sense? Well, it might make sense to Prince. That's his business because that's mainly the song that they're talking about. Don't you have an opinion on it? My opinion is he's got a right to sing it, he's got a right to say it, and I got a right to not buy it. Where does that right come from, Mr. Zappa? Where does the right to advocate incest come from? That song does not advocate incest. No, there are songs that advocate incest. Tell me them. I haven't heard. Well, we got to get out more. I don't don't think you're being candid with it. You know what those signs are. So, uh, songs are now. You said there's a right to do this. Where yeah. does the right come from? Your group was called the Mothers of the Invention. Mothers of the Mothers invention. of Invention. You got to get out more. Yeah, and you're a very inventive guy. You make up you a lot of stuff, like what was in the mind of the fi- founding fathers. Would you look at the camera and tell them? Which that, camera? That, uh, any camera. <laughs> and right, tell them. Directing the show. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, you certainly need some direction, Mr. Zappa. Well, would you, spank would, me here. Come on. What are you? Well, you into that too, huh? No, I'm not into spanking. I uh, love it when you yeah, froth like I'm that. Sure. Now, would you? Tell our viewers that what the founding father. I thought told. he was going to be the one frothing today. I'm glad that you're yeah, doing. wrong again, Frank. Wrong again. Now, got a napkin would, for would you, you when tell us? Rule. Excellent. Thank you very <laughs> much. Now, too. would you look in the camera and tell him with a straight face that <laughs> yeah. you think the founding fathers had in mind the kind of garbage you sing and write when they drafted the First Amendment? Do you really believe that, Mr. Zappa? I don't think it applies. The founding fathers, for one thing, kept slaves. And take a look at what Benjamin mm-hmm. Franklin used to do over at the Hellfire Club. But you have repeatedly... Not exactly you have a re- bunch of swell guys. I, I think they had some good I things in mind. But we have a document, the letter of the law. Yeah. Let's use the letter of the law and interpret okay, it. But, but, but wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It is relevant because you have repeatedly, in opposing even ratings for rock music, you have repeatedly cited the Constitution and the First Amendment. Do you think the Founding Fathers really had the First Amendment, that they gave us the First Amendment to defend songs that glorify Satanism and incest and suicide? You really Absolutely. That? You really believe oh, yeah, that? Yeah, I believe it. Well, you're Mr. an idiot then. Mr. Yeah? Mr. You're an idiot. Mr. I'll tell you what, kiss my ass. How do you well, like take that? Take your teeth out. <laughs> take your oh, teeth out and we'll talk to you. Let's, 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 yeah. let's call it yeah. Come on, let's yeah. get into this Come on, Come on let's Mr. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Over to me, Mr. Mr. Zappa. Zappa. One thing you did I didn't think you'd do is you ducked a question. I thought you Which one? I understand your position on the government. I understand you have an absolutist position on the First Amendment. A lot of people have an absolutist position. But I asked you a question and you ducked it. I want, I want you to tell me if you think that the lyrics saying that incest is a good thing have any artistic value or, or are in good taste. Or if you, if you approve, you must have some, some standards of your own. I'm not I talking about the that, government. You asked me for my opinion. I don't enjoy that kind of material. I'm not here to sell records for Prince or anybody else. But you defend it uh, being sold, don't you? Yes, I yeah, do well, defend then you're it part of the sold. problem. But, but don't, you, no, don't, John, I, I, don't you think it would be a good thing to say to some of these people to cool it? No, it's not my it's not my job. What is your job? My job is to represent myself. What is your job? You once wrote a song called We're All In It for the Money. It's not a song, it's the name of an album. Is that you right? gotta get out more. Yeah. Yeah. How much money you made peddling this stuff, Mr. Zappa? Millions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Millions of dollars, Mr. Lofton. All right, look, it seems to me, Mr. Zappa, that you've got to ask these people, both of them are on you. Uh, what they would me, propose. he's accusing me of doing something that is similar to what uh, that is being argued about. My What's lyrics that? aren't in question here. Really? What, what, They're not. What would what would you propose, Mr. Lofton, as the uh, the means of uh, of censorship? Well, I said I agree with Mr. Zappa that the first line of defense and responsibility is the parents. But what I do not agree with is that the parents have to stand alone, and we are not entitled to call upon our government to help us in the fight well, against this kind minute. of filth. What, what is, I mean, I, I what government, you wait a John, what is government a government censor? Yeah. What government censor is going to decide for you? It's not. Tom, I've heard you say repeatedly on this show that we are our government, that we're allowed to call on our government. Well, you have to have a man who is the senator or a woman. They have to decide this often can hear and this often cannot hear. Tom, it would work the way the uh, implementation of any law works. You pass a law, it has words in it, and then the uh, elected representatives of the people try their best to apply it. It's the way you do it with everything else. Will they apply it perfectly? No. But we're entitled to use the force of our civil government. Uh, to help protect our families. How could you oppose that? Is, does like, the government yeah. have any purpose, Frank? Yeah, it has what? a number of purposes. What is it? Name I'm more. not going to give you a civics lesson here, but yeah. I'll tell you one thing. We must not see eye to eye on the idea of a government that must forbid things in order to really? protect Really? What is families? the government's role? You've told me several times how what about it shouldn't national, do. How about national defense? Yeah, I consider this thing. national defense, pal. Our 
families are under attack from people like you with these lyrics. John, you don't have to buy them. Mr. Zappa, could I make a statement about national defense? Yeah. The biggest threat to America today is not communism. It's moving America toward a fascist theocracy. And everything that's happened during the Reagan administration is steering us right down that pipe. Oh, Mr. Mr. Zappa, do you you, you really think (laughs) I mean, I all, really kidding, think that. all kidding aside, in this country, with the permissiveness that we are moving toward a fascist theocracy, anything you goes. We are, you know, do, you, what? do you think things like this would have ever been permitted when we were 20, 20, when we were kids? You're about my age, maybe I'm a little 45. younger. I'm 45. Well, I'm 55. Do you think when, when I was a kid that they would permit songs like that to be sold? I mean, permissiveness is the game. I mean, well, exactly. I mean, you're not you're not really serious if, if you're saying we're going toward a fascist theocracy. <laughs> That's right, we are. Wait a minute. And what way? Give me, give me well, one example. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, one well, example. What, what? One example of a fascist theocracy. When you have a government that prefers a certain moral code mm-hmm. derived from a certain religion, and that moral code turns into legislation well, to I, suit I, one I, certain I, religious exactly. point of view, exactly. and if that code right. happens to be very, very right wing. Almost toward well, until the Hun. Well, then you are an anarchist. Every form of civil government is based on some kind of morality, Frank. Morality in terms of behavior, not well, of in course. terms of theology. Well, of course. But look, I mean, I couldn't believe it in your John, hearing. John, in your okay. Hearing. Wait a minute, gentlemen. We we uh, we have to take a break okay. now, We're gonna come and back. we'll be back with John Lofton and Frank Zappa talking about rock music. I think after these messages. And a musician who has testified before Congress that he does not think that rock music, dirty lyrics, and all should be censored or rated. John rated. Lofton takes the other view. Mr. Lofton, yes, uh, you don't have to buy this, you know. You don't have to buy these, these, this music with dirty words. Well, I guess uh, my concern extends beyond my own family, beyond my own children. I'm concerned about the whole society, the whole country, can other can, people's can children, can, other people's families. Can, can you control what your children like? Come no, on. not completely, but I no, try. I agree, and I want to say for the third time I agree with Frank that that is the first line of responsibility. But you can't even control what your children No, as they get older, it's very difficult. No, but you can, you can control what they listen to in the house and the rest. Right. But they're rarely in the house. You hear it, so you oh, just you know, go up and shut the shelves up in the room, and you can't hear it. I hear it. I turn it. I go up and I throw the oh, record you can't away. You hear half the things I tell you. You can't hear those those <laughs> things. But all you're trying to get around is the fact that you have an individual responsibility, and I think Mr. Zapp is right. That's as far as it can go. Well, but you know, one of the things that interests me is is, is the seemingly totally different worlds that you and I live in, Mr. Zapp. For example, you told this hearing last September that in America, quote, there is a tendency to hide sex, unquote. That is the most ridiculous statement I've ever heard. Sex is everywhere in America. It's on TV, radio, videos, advertising. What do you mean we hide sex in America? You do hide sex in America because if given the choice between putting uh, erotic sex mm-hmm. into a television show or putting violence, usually it is the violence that is opted How for. How about both? Putting both in? Yeah. Or you mean in combination? Oh, well, I mean both. I mean, the, 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 the television is full of sex right now. It's not really sex. It's, just, it? it's full of titillation. How about advertising? Is that full of sex? It's titillation. I uh, Mr. Mr. Zappa, you, when, when somebody mentioned the, 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 the videos, you... Yeah. You said, hey, no, this is not it. But why, you, why don't you want to talk about the video? The reason I don't want to talk about the videos is the issue came up over the lyrics and what they've done in trying to promote the issue. If, if rock videos did not exist, they wouldn't have had those flashy little bumpers to put on before each of the local news shows when they would do a, a story on well, this. Do you, do you feel differently about rock videos then, that they should be censored? No, I don't. I just think that you shouldn't even discuss them when the topic is words. But, 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 I mean, we can discuss anything we want. Oh, but, sure. but, but, don't, I mean, but, don't, but apropos of this But you think anything night. goes on the rock videos just like anything goes on, on the lyrics? Sure. Okay. Now, I, I'm told that there is a rock video that it's about to come out that has a, a, a school teacher undressing in front of a student. It's out already. It's one of the ones they use for bumpers. They showed it at the Senate hearing. It's called Hot for Teacher, and the group is Van Halen. What do you think of that? I think it's amusing. 
amusing that that you think kids should yeah, see it? That sure. great, that great. Why, why do you think kids should because see it? Well, tell me what it's about a little bit. He thinks it's amusing mm -hmm. that you might have a grade school class that is hot for teacher in a sexual way. Why is that amusing? Why shouldn't it be amusing? Well, you're not smiling. You don't look too happy about the well, why should I smile well, sitting here with you? What's, uh, well, you can fake it. Right? Well, fake I, it. I like fake him better than yeah. you. Well, what is a rough idea of what's going on? It sure does. Uh -huh. But, of course, I had that before I came here. Uh -huh. What's amusing about it? That is amusing to the people who like the concept of here comes the teacher, mm -hmm. you expect the teacher to be sour, the music starts, the teacher takes off her clothes and she is wearing some kind of a bathing suit like in a beauty contest and does a dance on the desk and the kids look up and they are having a good time. Well, that's, that's a real laugh riot, Frank. Mm -hmm. Now look, I, one of the things I don't understand is someone who writes... Uh, why you have repeatedly denigrated words and said, well, something's just words. You know, Adolf Hitler used words very effectively. It was called the big lie, and what it resulted in was six million Jews being put in ovens. Now, why do you say that words aren't important and don't have consequences? I didn't say the words weren't what, what important. What do you mean when you say just words? This argument basically is about the seven dirty words that the FCC complains yeah. about. And that's what it is. And I don't see any reason to keep people from hearing those syllables put together. Right. Those are not magic words. That's not abracadabra. You're going to turn into something. Do they have an impact, it. you think? Certainly they do. Oh. And it depends on how they're used and in what context. Which in fact, the, the big one, the one that starts with the F, has uh, maybe about 15 different ways in which it can be used in language. Mr. Zabba, you, you were talking about the, the social background of the Founding Fathers, so you're a student of, of, yeah, of American like sociology. But let, let me ask you this. Do you think this country, you get around this country a lot, I'm sure, mm -hmm. do you think that the, uh, the, 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 the lyrics of these, of these songs reflect the real spirit of this country? That it reflects certain aspects of the spirit of this country. It you, does. Th you think yeah. it does? You, yeah, and you see, if you don't like the um, spirit, then change the things that make the spirit happen. In other words, if you have kids that. that are rebellious, and you have kids who are hopeless, you have kids who go to drugs, then give them something to hope for. Like what? If the what would you tell a kid he ought to hope for nowadays, Frank? What I tell kids, and I've been telling kids for quite some time, is first, register to vote, and second, as soon as you're old enough, run for something. And you really think that's going to give kids hope to tell them to go register for vote? Mr. Zappa, when you well, were... Well, I don't know whether it makes them commit suicide, but I think it gives them a little bit more hope. Mr. Zappa, the, when you were great. testifying in Annapolis yesterday, I yeah. think, or, or this week, yesterday. at any rate, they had some kids from New York picketing outside who were from a school for the mentally disturbed, and they said that they all, that rock music almost ruined their life, rock music really disturbed them. Didn't that give you some pause as to maybe you were making, if you, were, you might be an error on, on this question? Well, see, you're an error as to where those kids came from. It's not a school for the mentally disturbed. It is a place called Freedom Village run by a man named Pastor Fletcher A. Brothers. A Christian organization. He collects money for it. They have a farm in upstate New York. I've dated uh, Pastor Brothers on the radio before. I've also seen his literature. Basically, what he has done is taken the children who have come to his uh, place for rehabilitation. I don't know where he gets them, who sends them, but he carts them around the country in the Freedom Village bus and makes them go in and testify as to all the bad things that happened to them before he they came to his place, and then he connects it to rock music. You know, Wait a minute, yeah, well, but let me tell you some of the things that are included in this man's literature. He sends out this folder, it's about this thick, that has a list of different people in rock and roll, their names, their records, and their crime against humanity, so to speak. Some of the people who are included in this list are Stevie Wonder, and his crime is that he has an album that mentions astrology. In his folder, there are two or three mentions of astrology and maybe three or four mentions of Hinduism. He cites the who uh, because they had a, a Hindu prayer on one of their albums. And I question them on the air. Let me, let me ask you about something you said. No, about, well, yeah, I want to talk. Now, you've talked for a little while, okay? I think your answer about where hope is supposed to lie shows the bankruptcy of what once used to be the radical message. We have millions of kids in this country, Frank, who may be suicidal, who see no meaning in life, who see no hope in life, mm -hmm. and you're going to tell them that the hope is in registering to vote, Frank? Are you serious? Are you trying to dissuade them from registering to vote? Are you trying to dissuade those kids from running for office? Is that what John, you're doing? I mean, we're talking John, about kids who don't enough. know the meaning of life. Frank, can you tell him to we vote? Are out That's no time. answer. We want to thank Mr. Zappa for being our guest on Crossfire and John Lofton for being our guest on Crossfire. Bob and I will be back in just a minute. Bob, I take it you don't like the records any more than I do, but... 
who's to be the censor? Should you be? Well, I don't know about that either. I'm a First Amendment man, but I, I'll tell you what I do know, Tom, and I think you'll agree with me, the idea that parents are going to tell their kids what they what they can and what they can't hear in this day and age is ridiculous. I mean, uh, they're, they're no more able to censor their kids than the government is than you want the government to censor everybody else. No, some of them will get the records, but I just don't think it's possible to draw the line for somebody to sit I'll and tell you, Stevie Wonder is all right and this guy's going to go. i tell you where the go. censorship should come from. It should come from the industry, and they should have a little more self-policing and a little more self-control, in my opinion. I think that's a good idea. From the left, I'm Tom Braden. Good night, for Prospect. From the right, I'm Robert Novak. Join us again next time for another edition of Crossfire. If you would like to comment on tonight's program... Right to CNN Crossfire, 111 Massachusetts Avenue Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20001.